Alright, got home with the new Cas Custom. Uh, here she is, 1652, 100 gauge, uh, like we've been talking about. I got the blazer sitting out there. I pulled this one next to it today. Unbolted it, and me and my cousin, we, we literally picked this motor up, pulled the last bolt out, and carried it over here and set it on there, and I brought it in my shop here. Got it jacked up. Let me show you where I mounted it. Maybe a touch high, I'm not sure, but that's where you want to start. I don't think it's going to be too high at all. Look at that. Boom. Uh, if we have to smidge it or down, we will, but that's where we want to start. Uh, I'll just kind of go over the boat. Got a little bit of storage right here in the back. Uh, I'm going to put my battery, probably a little toggle box right here. Maybe even some little speakers eventually. I went with these seats. It's like this right here. I mean, it's just so much more comfortable to kick your feet under you. Or you kick them out up here and relax and just opens up the boat. Versus, you know, I was running around with a cooler up here. Well, I'll be able to run around with my cooler right here. Keep my boat clean. Over here, that is all storage. 48 inches. I think it's like 12 across the top, 9 at the bottom. And over here in this one, small storage there and fuel cell. We've calculated that fuel cell... Maybe hold about 12 and just over 12 gallons if I calculated it right. And then up front, 24 inch deck. We have this little level spot right here because I'm going to put my bait cooler right here. I'll keep my perch in. And that way it won't be unlevel with the rake of the boat right here. As it rises up, as what we've seen in the past with boats with floors, <clears throat> you, you gas on the old Merc and you'll slide that sucker back here and it's annoying. So that's gonna solve that problem there. I uh, haven't really decided one with the floor yet. I'm really going, leaning towards just turfing it with this stuff at the moment, but uh, haven't quite decided. Tomorrow morning, um, once I get finished up with uh, getting my wires ran, I'm probably not gonna mess with the fuel cell tomorrow. I've got it, uh, I'm gonna run the fuel hose up for that. Um, I'll probably just run my little portable tank for the test drive tomorrow. But uh, stay tuned for that, I reckon.